gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming, today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video where we play the man in the high castle mod. Um, we I choose the neutral zone in America, uh, not Nazi America, Japanese, uh, Japanese Pacific states. I wonder how that will go. We started to improve our relations a little bit with Canada. It would be nice if we could go into a faction with Canada. Do we any, anyway get the opportunity to create factions? Uh, against national spirit, which grants division requirements between volunteer forces. Okay, why we fight? Uh, we will. We don't have the neutrality foreign police spirit, and we'll be able to create factions. Yeah, this one over here gives us the factions, which will be cool at some point. Maybe, like I said, get in a faction with Canada before we actually go to war with anybody. And this, during that time, we are actually just yeah, we'll actually get the one extra. Mm, I can get that one. I need this one first as well. So we're gonna go armor effort, armor with effort, which just helps up the building speed, all of that stuff a little bit. I mean, if we click in here and look in here, we are already up to six here, so we definitely don't need to get four here. Two will be more than enough. Uh, I guess that's Colorado. Because that's, yeah, I think that's Colorado. Yeah, yup, yup, yup. Yeah. Colorado. Building speed is up one more. I'm going to get the next building speed upgrade right away. I'm very low on manpower still. I have... Um, okay. Ah, crap. Clicked the wrong button. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. More, the, more building slots. Advanced machinery tool. Efficiency cap goes up. Ah, why the hell not? There we go. Uh, built two more... One mil more military factory. Which brings me up to three, uh, which brings me to the point where I have to decide. I guess first one should go in weaponry, uh, weapons, second one should go in this one, and a third one should probably start to produce towed artillery. No, it should not. Probably should start to produce trucks, motorized. Motorized will be important at some point. Oh, I switched you guys over, and you're still trained. Oh no, I haven't switched you over. I'm planning to switch you over to infantry divisions. There we go. Now you're infantry divisions. And you actually do need to start training again. Because you went down to trained. No more regular troops. Which will rain the stuff on my... Well, it's still pretty good. At the moment. And the third one. Perfect. After this one, we get the extra research slot. And in here, I was still thinking. Anti-warfare theorist, air experience, uh, air warfare, naval military theorist. Army experience gained. Yes, give me this one, please. And we still have 150 points. I don't want to switch anything in here right now. Bobolian war industrialist, fortification would be nice as well some point probably uh, electronics industrial company we are doing a lot of industrial research right now so that's probably a good thing to get training of those divisions is up to be trained again we have 11 army experience uh, i probably should stop the training so the stuff can accumulate i'll let them train for a little while longer oh yeah look at the pacific state guys <laughs> Perfect, another military factory, and definitely get this one done. Right next, so far we get an extra research slot. We have three factories, four now building stuff in our territory. Six factories, not three. Still goes on for a little while. Construction effort has been done, and the other effort as well. So give me more instruction, construction effort, and... Give me more... Well, actually... Toad anti-tank will be nice to have at some point, so I was, should start the production on that at some point as well. No template for motorized. Yeah, I don't care if I don't have any template for motorized. I do will need it at some point. I know I haven't it in yet because I haven't researched like a field hospital and stuff like that. However, we do need rubber. Who would give us rubber? The only one who will be willing to trade with us is Brazil. Um, sure, one factory, eight rubber. Should should hold on for a while. I wonder how they get it to us. Probably through Mexico. Extra research slot, perfect. And another extra research slot. Why the hell not? 
straight away two research slots. Uh huh. You're still going. Uh, meaning in here. Nope. Uh, meaning in here. Uh, probably should start on <sighs> this one. Yeah. Give me that one. And we could change our government again already, or add something to our government. I mean. Uh, small arms company, motorization, artillery company, mm, artillery research, small arms research bonus. I'm gonna start up researching the better armament really, really soon, I hope. That uh, looks pretty nice. And as soon as this one is done, the extra research slot, I th think I'm gonna go and start the army thing. Yeah. Gives me another 5,000 manpower and we can start to expand the army. 10,000 manpower, land doctrine, motorization effort. Uh, mechanization and armor, but first of all, we're gonna go down the infantry weapon slot. That's okay, and we're gonna get this one here next. There we go. Uh, we have another free research slot, which means um, probably should get that one done. Uh, details, you are done with that one. I definitely start on that one. I'm not gonna start producing, I'm researching it first. Because I don't think those, they are naval efforts, they are expand the air force, I probably need to start up to build up some radar and anti-air stuff in my territory rather soon-ish. Uh, you're done with everything, and so 113 days for that one, just start it. At some point I will build it. I think, oh, over here, I think it gives me rubber and oil, yeah. With five rub oil and two rubber, so I guess we're gonna put it... Well, I just can put one in here. I need to expand uh, my building slots in the areas. Army experience is quite good. Um, Material-wise, we're still in a surplus, so they can keep on training. Not that it helps at all, but just leave the train. That has been done. It gives me 5,000 more manpower. That will give me another 10,000 10, plus 10 army experience, which is also very nice. And we can start to do stuff with that. Uh, it's very, very slow going here. Probably really should have chosen any of the other two nations. Uh, even though I think they really have the, same ex uh, the exact same focus tree, it looks like it. Because if I click on them and click Bomber Focus, yeah, it looks exactly the same like mine. So they don't get a claim on anything either. Which is kind of weird, actually. I thought maybe they would have something different or special somewhere. What's the Germans doing? Rocketry? Oh, what, what kind of flag is that? Moscow and Reichskommissariat, Caucasus, ah, okay, that's all the, yeah, I see. Uh, probably get that one next, so we are pretty close to the weapons upgrading stuff. So we can get through and get better weapons ASAP, although I think they are already way over with everything. Yeah, look at that, like 60, yeah, perfect, not really. I'm going to get so destroyed army equipment. I really should try to have a look at the at the TV series here. Uh, streamline. Got plus ten percent production efficiency, efficiency growth. Attention. I'm going with the growth here. I think that we'll, I, I really need to have a look at the TV series, or actually get the book and start to read the book and see how it will go. I don't like that the Pacific State has so many troops on my border, so I'm guessing I'm gonna do it, you guys, this border. Not that I have enough divisions, I don't think I have a uh, division in every province, I probably have to double check that. No. Like, like, as you see, this province is already empty. Which is no good at all. Yeah, it's more toad anti-tank. I haven't started production yet of it, but probably can put a token thingy in there. Nope, like I said, I'm waiting for it to be upgraded. Infantry weapon research bonus, there we go, 50% speed on that. Definitely need, do need more divisions, so if I start up to train a couple divisions, like more infantry divisions, right? Those are the combat with 21s. Yes, they are. Uh, train. Train. Already too much. No manpower for that. So three divisions can be trained at once. 
Okay, details, that has been upgraded. Uh, we have the 50% bonus for this one, so 51 days for that one. Perfect. Details, do I have 50% bonus? Don't have the 50% bonus anymore, so we go go back in here and upgrade the facilities. So we can build more stuff in our provinces. Not that it is really helping right now. I'm up to nine factories. I mean, uh, well, kinda. It's kinda working. So I'll build one in here, and maybe one in Utah as well. Gives me some oil and some rubber at some point. Okay, in details. And armament effort three, perfect. And oh, yep. Yeah, let's go back in here. Uh, set location up here in Montana, and you'll be going to join in this front over here when you're done your training. Improved, uh huh. Definitely want anti tank and uh, anti tank three stuff in my army. Details, perfect. So we should have another 50% bonus here. Uh, anti tank or better, yeah, I think anti tank, heart and piercing. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Just 31 days. Yep, it's outdated equipment, going to be upgraded to new equipment. I'm all out of manpower. Can't change many man any manpower laws right now. And gonna start researching tanks at some point here. Still have like 200 points. Let's improve our relations with Canada again. Neutral zone. Well, the neutral zone is really, they were, it was a wreck, uh, as far as I remember from other games, uh, which basically play around this area, is that, yeah, yeah, all the research has been done. So definitely get this one next, and you are done with that one, you're done with that one, you're completely through here. Uh, state level 3, it's like 119 days, and then we gotta grab all of those. Or should I get... Oh, I should probably get those two first. Um, yeah, Nazi Germany pretty well... Or the Axis pretty much won the war. And they were starting to fight the Japanese in the US. So that's why they decided on this neutral zone in a peace treaty. If I remember correctly on this sparse information I have. Uh, motorization effort. Why the hell not? And, oh, some of the divisions have been trained up, and you're not training because... Not enough manpower. Oh yeah, you have just left like 1,000 divisions in there. That's not a lot. But the divisions in here just came out, started to go to their front positions and start their training. Yep, research anti tank 3, and then we're actually gonna put in a token production line of those guys. <laughs> well, they also kind of massing their troops on my border right now. I don't know what I should think about that. I'm not very happy about Canada. I wonder why. Um, Anti-tank weaponry 2. So we can at least, our troops can at least pierce enemy tanks. Although it doesn't really look like the Japanese have tank troops, tank divisions on my border. Don't really know how the other side looks against Nazi USA. Wondering how that's gonna turn out for me. Yep, that research will be good. Motorized has been done. That gives me another research ahead of time penalty for motorized. I don't have an ahead of time penalty for anything. Well, maybe it counts, in, it, counts it as different years. I don't know, maybe. Um, war industrialist, fortification engineer, Bob Williams, war industrialist. Don't know if it has any help at all here. We are turning pretty fascist though, uh, which I don't like really. Uh, we don't get a neutral guy, war industrialist. Let's get the de democratic reformer in. Okay, move towards democracy. If we silence the voice of the people, how can any of us claim to be the voice of neutral soul ourselves? If we fear this sent what? If we fear dissent, if we fear being publicly denounced or outset by public vote, 
What we truly fear is we are hated and revealed by our own citizens. Does the American Neutral Party really have so little confidence in this principle? Oh yeah, a careful and loosely organized but passionate faction is the government has begun to push for less represent repressive politics against enemies of the state they want the public involved in the decisions in the decision making through for referendums and local party meetings even if this means risking the future of the current agenda we uh, we discussed this essentially for the start increases the chances of internal support for arranging elections knowing we are in the right we can afford allowing our enemies to talk more openly Increases the chance of people voting support for democracy and forming an opposition. Okay. Uh, initial support for arranging elections. Mm -hmm. No elections. No one aligned. An opposition. Uh, we want elections first, I think. So that's, I guess... One of the things I should have done earlier to get... Oh, we have Doctrine bonuses. We definitely want to go down this route again because we need to the additional manpower. Ah, uh, 50%. Should I, shouldn't I? Should I keep on on the weaponry first? I think so. I think I should do the weaponry first. So we get all the research bonus on the other stuff. And... Yeah, get the... Fortification or the war industrialist. I'm not really building military factories. I definitely want to build some land forts in the future. So, there we go. We are done research with that. Now, so, let's get this research done right away. <clears throat> want to build some land forts over here at some point. Of course, there's still a couple of civilian factories being built up. Uh, 15 would be nice. So, that's 10, 11, 12, 13. So, two more. Uh, one... <clears throat> yeah. Hit pause here. <clears throat> move those two up to the top and then move them down one. Like this. <clears throat> so they finish first the civilian factory. And that should bring me up to 15 at some point. Anyway, cl close that window. <clears throat> Surprisingly, the call for more referendums and less representative measures against opponents of the regi regime has received some support in internal party discussions while american neutral party's leadership party leadership remains skeptical several influ influential members have supported the shift <coughs> sorry about that perhaps they have confidence that a little will change in parties in practice or perhaps they are I, I, either i need glasses or i really do need to read more in English again. They are really secretly traitors to the party cause, as many of, of their opponents will have, an, have it regardless. If the public call for such changes should come, some of the leaders of neutral zone are ready to compromise. The choice may not always stand between liberty and death. The government may arrange elections when the policy has major majority support. Really? Interesting. And armor and effort, two time bonus for armor technology. Yes, please. Um, how do we? How are we looking? It's growing. No, no more uh, fascists. Uh, no more uh, communists. Still fourteen fascists. But democratic support is growing. It is growing. Perfect. Which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah, still like not a lot of manpower at all. So those divisions will not come to the front anytime soon-ish. Now we can really we can't change them uh, to like extensive conscription. We need to be either fascist, communist, or at a war. <laughs> Perfect. No, it's not. It really sucks. I definitely need to go and rush through the national focus. We can get down in. Mm, we have we would have our in mountaineers, but. Yeah. Um, Need to go through the mobile doctrine so where we get more more uh, recruitable population down there in the future. Uh huh. How much would we actually get? We have like what? 
civilians. 3.35 million are alight available. Uh, 3.35 million is the population in this area. It's not quite a lot. I still don't have enough divisions to fortify all the all of my border. Which is just not super good. What I will... S nah, I actually shouldn't set that up right now. Well, at some point I should, but not right now. We don't like the Canadians still. Which, whoa, 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 whoa. Stuff is happening. The Soviet Union. Okay. The Great Nazi Reich. That's Germany, right? Great Nazi Reich, yeah. They declared war on the Soviet Union. You kind of screwed, buddy. I'm pretty sure you have no chance whatsoever. Uh, how much? Do, how many divisions do you have in there? <laughs> German Reich itself, also like 400. Um, I think my idea was again to go against Nazi America is biting me in the ass really, really soon. Definitely go the doctrine around now. Anybody else joining the war? Uh, current wars. Oh yeah, look at that. Well, not everybody is in there yet. Nazi America is right, it's not in there. Reichskommissariat uh, Moscow is not in there yet. But I guess they have. They can walk through the territory anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Click on the war again just to see. Yeah, no losses yet. Freaking hell, a Soviet Union of uh, mans around, let's say, around 570,000 men and the Axis <laughs> uh, field around 6 million, maybe a little less into the field. Yeah, Soviet Union is done in an instant, I think. I'm gonna close that. <clears throat> what did I do research? I think I'm done with that one. Um... Let's get more research going efficiency right now. Holy moly. That's going oh that's going to be really, really hard. Um yeah. <clears throat> we might be overrun in a really short time here. Oh man. It's not really looking super bright for me, right? Um I probably should get the army defense specialist first. <laughs> I think that would be a good choice to get. <laughs> Um, more research gain efficiency? Ah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, one more. And the rest will go into army uh, development, like tanks and stuff like that. Production-wise, we are up to 12 factories producing. So, four more. Five more, yeah. Well, three more would be good. Four more we are producing. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay-ish. How do we look on resources, by the way? What kind of resources do we have? We have 20 oil. We have 40 oil. Ah, yeah, that's part of Texas, actually. That's cool. I'm not doing too bad. A lot of tanks near. I'm quite pretty happy with that. Uh, Denver is my capital. Cannon City. Uh, that's my only two victory points I actually have. Looks like it. Doctrine effort has been done. Uh, yeah, let's get the next weapon researched, and with that we go Doctrine Effort 2. Yeah, that's really the only two cities I have. I kind of need to fortify those two cities. Denver is in the mountains, which is good. If we put a bunker there, a high-level bunker, that should be kind of helpful. Um, probably should start on Doctrines right now, 50% here. It's 94 days going down the route to get to the point where we have enough materials for it to be useful. Already up to 1,700 trucks, which is also very nice. 16,000 infantry equipment. Uh, if I get any other military factories, which I'm not producing, I definitely want some more uh, like this. I, I haven't even started, uh, I haven't even placed any military factories in here. I probably should do that now. Like, bring that to the max as soon as the infrastructure is up and running. We definitely want more military factories in here as well. <clears throat> and I can't get any more because I'm through in the research slot where we get uh, more 
where we will unlock more building slots in the provinces. <clears throat> oh, but anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you did like it, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links will be in the video description, like always. And like always, guys, one more time, thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.